What's up, everybody? It's Freyskin. Gonna go through another tutorial today uh, in Logic 8. It's uh, how to make a quick and easy rise sound uh, out of a synth. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, change our tempo to 130, just because it's nice. <laughs> we're gonna insert the ES1, which is the old school. And I like to use this because it has a, a high bend range of two octaves. You can also use the ES2. I use that a lot, but this is just a, for this tutorial. We use the ES1. The ES2 has, a, I think, a range of 36. Three octaves is nice. We're going to go ahead and blow that out. And we'll record a quick, uh, just one note, one note line. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag that out and bring it up here down here in the MIDI window. And I'm just going to drag it out to 17 or 16 bars. We'll move this for now up here. We're going to pull up the uh, little sub window here for the pitch bin and, and select pitch bin out of this uh, menu. Here's the end. Take it all the way up to 63 at the end and head back to the beginning. Bring it down to 64 in the beginning. 63, 64. So that's basically a quick rise. You can adjust, uh, adjust your um, drive, resonance, cutoff, and resonance, and uh, even uh, the modulation. A lot of fun things to mess with, but uh, we'll go ahead and listen to it now, just to hear the band. And even use the uh, modulation, modulation wheel to give it some bend at the end. So that's a quick, uh, quick rise, and we can take it one step further, just to show an example. I'm gonna use the uh, Sonopolis TBK2. Absolutely love this bit crusher; it's so clean. But we're gonna go in here. I'll just uh, draw it in, as it's quicker than doing the automation of this long uh, sound. Right here is where you select your TBK. We're going to select the depth, and you like to start kind of low, not too low because this thing is a sound destroyer, and bring it up and give it a little more suspense at the end there, and bring this mode down to maybe uh, grime. The lower the mode, the dirtier it is. This is a great plugin, but uh. We're going to also add some EQ to knock off the low end because this thing's pretty heavy. And then now we will listen to uh, what we got here. Now we can add uh, one more layer, maybe do a, a large reverb, I use the Audio Damage EOS, bring that mix in, bring the mix all the way down to zero, and go back to our automation window, and select the EOS, and the mix. Now this thing is just ridiculously huge, so we're not going to go up too high. Just bring it up there, about 12%, 20, and then at the end we'll take it pretty big, up to 40. Now we'll put these here, 
and we'll bring the EOS back up so we can see it doing its thing. And we'll play it. So that's basically uh, one way to do a quick rise in Logic 8. So you can see the possibilities are endless. You just get a raw oscillator. You know, use the ES1 synth or the ES2, uh, something with a large bend range, and just uh, you know, take a 16, 16 bar note and just uh, uh, do a huge rise over it. And it's uh, great for, for your breakdowns into your big drop. And then uh, once you get the rise, I mean, you can just do anything, delay automation and uh, like I did the reverb and the uh, bit crusher. I mean, it's just endless. It's uh, real quick once you uh, know how to get in there and just make a quick, original, unique rise that's uh, your own and fits in your track and, and no one else has ever used. So, so that's uh, one way to do it. Uh, as for Ace, you've been uh, checking out how to make a, a quick rise or build sound uh, in Logic 8. Thanks. Peace.